Hello my crafty friends and thank you so much for tuning in to today's craft with me video. What I'm working on today is not a typical junk journal cover. This is like a treasure hoard bound spine kind of a journal cover. And I've been working on this book for over a year now, if you can believe it. And I finally decided it has to be finished. This can't be one of those books that sits around half made for years and never gets completed. It has to be made because we are in the year of the dragon. So yay for dragons. I think it would be super cool to have been born in the year of the dragon. Personally, I was born in the year of the rat, which is what it is. <laughs> They're all wonderful. I love all animals, but dragons are just super cool, aren't they? So this journal is a year of the dragon slash just dragon in general theme. The cover was something that I found at a thrift store while I was going through the book section. I fell in love with it. The way that this dragon is embossed, the, the smoke or the puffs of cloud around him, just everything about it was stunning. The back is just plain red. I'm going to grunge it up with a little bit of gold paint. Maybe not today, but at some point. But what makes this book... Oh, here we go. Okay, so <laughs> in my last video, I asked for a vote on which flip through video I should do next based on the little video, uh, the, sorry, the little video, the little journals I had started working on. And this journal here won the vote, definitely had the most votes, but it's a time consuming little piece. So I can show you how I framed the face of that woman in some of my favorite little trims and a little skirt of fabric that was a gift from Cat Stone. Thank you, Cat, for such cool little fabrics. Um, but I am going to take another week to work on this baby. So in the meantime, I decided to share my dragon journal and give you a little insight into how I do my treasure spines. So for the record, this is what the spine looks like. There's a little close-up view of all the little elements. I'm just gonna sit it flat down and put my water here. So yeah, this is what I've got to work with. I love how it looks when it's kind of laid out flat on the table. And I love the way it looks when it's standing up in a bookshelf and you see it. But I don't love the way it looks when you see the uneven edge here that the cardboard has kind of peeled away from. And so, and that's on the back side too. What I've decided to do today is fill that in with some gold paint and kind of just do a craft with me filmed video. Oops. Filmed video as if there's any other kind of video. <laughs> Film a craft with me video. Film the creative process. And I also found a little bit of trim that I'm going to use. You can see that here. This was from Tanya at my jewelry addiction. And it's going to be perfect in this journal. Now, I'm not going to be too fussy about how I do this. I'm just going to paint everything that looks cardboardy and dirty and grungy. I'm going to go over with a little bit of this gold paint. The finished process our finished product doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want any cardboard peeking through. I want this to be all golden because this book is the dragon's treasure. See some places the little, the red is peeking through a bit. I'll cover that up too. There we go. Almost like Kitsungi, the gold will hold that together where it's spilled a little. And now I'm going to put oops, that paper down so that I'm not wrecking my little craft table here. Yeah, the gemstones kind of went over the edge there. That's why I want something gorgeous to frame this piece here.
So yeah, dragons. I looked up a little bit of the mythology just to give me a little bouncing point to talk from in today's video. And what I found to be fascinating was that culturally speaking, the Asian dragon is a whole other species compared to the Western concept of a dragon. In the Western world, we hear of dragons as being um, dangerous, fearsome, serpentine, slay-worthy, slay you know, monsters that need a slayer to slay them. Whereas in the Eastern world, they're seen as very protective, very spiritual, almost like guardians. And so I love the idea of somebody... So my, my theme for today's journal, not today's, but this year's journal, the Year of the Dragon journal, the concept is a dragon slayer or a young, young man sets out on a quest to find a dragon to slay, but in the process finds an Asian dragon who leads him on a path to enlightenment rather than a quest to violently destroy another species. That's kind of my theme for the journal. So yeah, with that little bit of gold, I'm not even gonna wait for it to dry before I measure out how much of this I need. I'm gonna cut two lengths of this. I'm gonna measure it just roughly like that so that it's a little bit longer than my spine on each side. And I'm cutting it longer because I'm going to wrap the ends under so that it's glued on both sides and that way it's more likely to stay down. Just since these are a little bit slick and they don't tend to hold the glue as well as you'd think they would. Yeah, this, by the way, if you're wondering, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I haven't shown a step-by-step -step process video of how I got to the bejeweled part already. I'm just kind of assuming you'll figure that out. Maybe I can point it out, be a little bit more hospitable to my viewers. So I'm going to just open this up a little to show. What I did was I painted the whole spine gold, and then I took really cool pieces of jewelry, including pieces that I bought in India, like this mangtika here, that's like a hair part ornament, this Tibetan prayer wheel, I have one identical to it on my personal giant journal. And just drips and drops of junk jewelry jar jewelry. And I filled it in so that it would look like the dragon is protecting this treasure here. And so the concept of the journal is that a treasure hunter is seeking his fortune, wants to slay the dragon, be the hero. But the selfish motivation there is that dragons hold treasure. But yeah, I want to write a little story to go with it about how the Slayer discovers the dragon's true treasure is wisdom. And in the long run, instead of finding a nemesis or a rival, he finds something of an instructor. So I'm getting out my handy glue E6000. You can see how mangled it's become from so many different uses. So the only way I can open it now is with my pliers. <laughs> so I attached everything to the side using E6000. It's the only glue that I trust to keep something down on such an active part of a book as the spine. This is definitely the stuff you wanna use only with proper ventilation. And if you can see, I'm just getting the glue up to the edge of the ornaments that are there on the other edge on the spine. And you wanna make sure the glue, why am I saying you wanna make sure? This is not a tutorial, <laughs> it's a craft with me. But if you decide to try your hand at a book like one of these. Now the trick to make it look really good, I've discovered when I've experimented with journals is to make it imperfect and that might sound counterintuitive because we all want a satisfying straight line but trust me in the long run 
this varied line here that follows the curves of the coins and the jewelry bits on the other side of the spine, that's gonna be so much cooler than if it was a perfectly straight line. An undulating line is more pleasing to the eye and that's why I didn't tape off the edge before I painted this gold. I wanted it to look organic and rough. Oh, see, doesn't this already look infinitely better <laughs> than when I started the video? So yeah, at some point I'm going to take maybe a sponge or maybe my fingertips and take gold. I think it's all dried by now. But take some of the gold paint and just kind of rub it in wherever there's a smear on the journal cover. Um, and then of course I'll fill it up with pages, all dragon related. I am going to pop this little book back in here just while that glue dries. But you know how funny, I'm sorry to set you up for disappointment once again if you're someone who looks forward to a nice long video from me. This is going to be a short craft with me video because I realize now I have to wait 24 hours for this glue to dry before I can move on to the next step in my craft here. So I'm going to leave it at that. A very, whoops, there's a little bit of fresh gold, but that's not where I wanted it. Good thing it was still wet enough to get it off again. Um, but yeah, if you're someone who looks forward to a long flip through journal video from me, next week I promise I will have that little baby ready that, um, little, but you can see I've already sewn the pages in and she's a thick girl. So she's going to probably have a bit of a gator mouth. Oops, make sure this is lying down where I want it. She's going to have a bit of a gator mouth. This book will not have a gator mouth. I'm determined to keep it perfectly proportioned. <laughs> but anyway, just since I have to wait now for this to dry before I can move on to the next step of the craft, I am going to leave it at this. I see what's happening here. The paint is getting reactivated by the glue. Anyway, very interesting. I'm going to leave it at this. So much love to you. We'll see you next week with a longer video where I'll flip through that little bohemian journal. I hope you're getting crafty. Actually, I hope you're getting outside and enjoying the summer and now that it's finally here or the winter if you're down under. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think of my treasure spine dragon journal so far. I will post updates as I work on this baby because it is, in my opinion, one of the coolest ones I've ever made. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Much love to you. Bye for now.